Now let's start removing some duplicates. Again, this is this is basically loading data from my pickle file, which is 28k apparel data into the data frame data here. And now when I just say data.head, right, this is what you'll see. Um, of course, everything looks same, nothing. So the data looks as we expect. You have ASINs, you have uh, colors, you have brand names, everything looks exactly as we expect. The first pre-processing step that we would perform is basically since we're since I told you that we are using titles, we'll be using title extensively throughout this. We said the titles are short and very informative. But if the title length is very short, right? So if you have products with very, very few words in titles, let's say we have we have less than five words in title. Okay. That's that's like too small a title, right? So we want titles not to be too small or too large. Okay, too large is still okay, but too small. So if your title length, if your title length is if your title length is less than five, that means probably it's not very useful. The title is too short to be useful. So what we want to do is we want to first remove all those titles which have which have length of less than five. And that's what we're trying to do in this in this line. So we are saying take your title and split it so when you apply the dot split function in in for any given string it splits it into a in, into a list and if the length of the list is greater than four only then keep it right which means uh, in my in my in my variable data underscore sorted right now i basically have only those only those products which have titles which are of length greater than or equal to five and of course i can find out how many products are there initially we had about 28k products right so after running this i have about 27949 products roughly about almost more or less the same right only a few of them probably we lost because they have titles which are very short but this is an important pre processing step now you might ask how do i know that i have to do this right so that comes with lots of experience uh, by looking at data by actually looking at data so what we have done is we have looked through some of the titles and we saw that there are some titles which are very short and when we looked at those titles, they, they're just basically like uh, shirt, uh, women, women shirt, Excel. Okay, the, such a title, such a title for any. So you, you could just say women shirt Excel. That's it. That's too short for us to be useful, right? It's too generic. It doesn't tell us anything about the shirt or, or the top that we're looking for. It doesn't talk about pattern or color or brand or anything. So when 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 titles are too short we we saw we observed that they're useless and and hence we chose to remove them and how do you understand this this is this is there is no rule there is no there is no fixed set of steps that we have to do in data cleaning this comes with a lot of experience a lot of playing around with actual data and from my own experience of playing around with amazon's product data these are stuff that i've learned on the job Anyway, but anybody can pick it up. If you just practice and solve enough number of problems in machine learning, you can easily solve it. Okay, having said that, uh, now let's now let's do a simple task. Now we want to sort all of our all of our products using title, right? And th this is a very, very simple way of sorting all of our products. And of course, since we're sorting by title, it will be alphabetical order. This single line of code will basically sort all of my products in such a way that they're sorted by title in 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 uh, uh, they're sorted by title in alphabetic order now when i say data sorted dot head it will print now let's see let's see let's see this oh one thing that i'll quickly notice is if you look at this product title and this product title they are more or less the same except for probably the last word here right they're, they're very very similar jamming women sleeveless loose long t-shirts here it says Jaming women's white long sleeve single something something okay so there are a lot of these products which are which look ex very very similar except for probably a couple of words here and there okay so now let's go and understand so le let's go and look at some more examples of course we picked up these examples for you so that it's easy for you to understand okay so let's take these uh, these two titles now if you see the first title it's women's place is in the house and the senate sh shirts for women's xxl white Okay. Similarly, you have this. So one thing that you'll notice is this whole section, this whole section, 
is exactly the same except for the last part right here it says xxl white here it says m gray so the first one is the size the second one is the color so if you look at these two these two are full titles by the way amongst these two titles the title is more or less exactly the same except for the last couple of words okay now let's go and look at another example if you look at these two these three titles again they're exactly the same except for the last word the, here the size is extra large here the size is small the size is large so by just removing duplicates this won't work because these two titles are actually not duplicates if they're duplicates they have to be exactly the same they only differ in us in one small word or a couple of words especially at the end of the sentence right um, so when you have cases like this can we remove these cases now we can remove these cases where so this case remember this case is very important where only the last few words only the last few words are differing all of the all of the words at the start are exactly the same right they only are differing in the in the suffix in the last few words now how do we remove them it's very very simple right so there, there is a code snippet out here uh, this whole code snippet here this whole these two these two code snippets here actually remove those duplicates let me explain the algorithm for removing it right suppose if i have let's say title one let me just change the color here let's assume i have title one title two title three title four title five title six i'll explain the algorithm and remember all of them are sorted to start with right all of them are sorted alphabetically all of them are sorted alphabetically right when they're sorted alphabetically what happens is what happens is those two sentences suppose if you take these two sentences right these two sentences since they're sorted alphabetically since all of this prefix is exactly the same these two will be cons these two will be next to each other these two will be these two will in, in the sorted order these two will be next to each other literally all these three will be next to each other right so we'll use that logic so what i'll do here is i'll start from here okay let's assume i have a variable i here and i'll have a variable j so i'll start my j with i plus one okay and now I'll compare, since they're already sorted, I will see how many words does my ith title and jth title differ in. Okay, I can easily do that, right? The way I can do it is I can get all the words, I can get all the words in T1, I can get all the words in T2, right? And I can do a set difference. I can put them in a set. I can put all of the words in T1 in a set. I can put all the words in T2 in a set and I can do set difference. I can do set difference and sets are very very useful uh, data structures in python those of you who do not know about sets please go and check out our optional python videos where we explain what a set is okay now if the if that if they differ in only one or two words in only a very few words then we will say let me look go, go through the code and tell you exactly in how many words if they differ we will discard them okay if if, if they differ in if they differ in less than equal to two words, right? If the difference is less than equal to two words, we would deem this as a duplicate and remove it, right? Suppose, suppose if this was a duplicate, we removed it. Now we increment J. Now we'll again check if this is also a duplicate of this and we keep doing it. Now, once I've compared T1 with everything else, right? Let's assume T2 is removed, right? I've compared with this, this, so on and so forth. So this is like a for loop, right? This is like for i equals to one to uh, the last line, right? For j equals to i plus one up to last line. Okay, we perform this comparison operation. This is this this is how the code should look like logically speaking, right? So once I've finished comparing t one with everything else, now what I'll do here is since t two is removed, now I'll move my i here. And I'll take my J and I'll take my J's from T3, T4, T5, so on and so forth. So this is like a twin for loop, a for loop in a for loop, right? So that's what actually you'll notice in this code. If you look at this code, you basically have a for loop here. Sorry, let me go up. Uh, okay, you basically have your twin for loop here, literally, right? So you have your for I and for while j so instead of using for loops we used while loops here right this is the twin loop that i just explained you and what i'll recommend you is 
I'll recommend you to go through this code. There is good amount of documentation and understand what's happening in each of these lines. If you know some decent Python, some, some functions in Python, this should be very, very straightforward for you to understand. This code literally, literally it removes consequent items in your, in, it removes these consequent items in your sorted, alphabetically sorted titles, which are similar almost, which are almost similar except for the last few words. Okay, so at the end of this operation, at the start of this operation, we had 28k data points. At the end of it, we are left with 17,593 data points. At every stage, we store our we store our data uh, data uh, variables into pickle files. So now I have 17k. After removing, see, rem remember, we removed titles which differ, which differ only in only in the last few words, only in the last few words. There are other types of duplicates that we will discuss in the next video and we'll see how to remove them. So now we have gone from 28K to 17K data points by just removing titles which differ in the last few words. Okay. So in the next video, we'll see how to remove more duplicates that are actually present in the data.